Welcome to this Control Web Panel tutorial. In this video, we're going to discuss how to redirect a domain with the CWP User Panel. There are plenty of reasons why you might need to redirect a specific domain or a subdomain, either temporarily, perhaps while the site is under construction, or permanently, perhaps if the site has been replaced. CWP makes it easy to set up domain and subdomain redirects. From the User Panel, simply open the domain's submenu in the sidebar and then select Redirect. It's important to note that this redirect module is only present when using an Apache web server. This opens the redirects module where you can redirect the name of a domain to another hosting folder or to another external domain. To create a redirect, click on Add New Redirect. Then select the type, either permanent or temporary. A permanent redirect will notify the visitor's browser to update any bookmarks that are linked to the page that is being redirected. Temporary redirects will not update the visitor's bookmarks. Next, choose the domain or subdomain or all domains. Then, define the path that you want to redirect. Click on the Home icon to select the directory. Now you can specify where it redirects to. This field should include the full URL, including HTTP or HTTPS. Next, select the www redirection. You can choose to redirect only with www, or redirect with or without www, or do not redirect www. You can also choose wildcard redirect. Checking the wildcard redirect box will redirect all files within a directory to the same file name in the redirected directory. Because the wildcard redirects all files, you cannot use a wildcard redirect to redirect your main domain to a different directory on your site. Finally, click Save. The page refreshes and you'll see a table showing a list of all the redirects you have created. You can expand this table's visible entries, search for a specific entry, or sort the table by domain, directory, regular expression, redirect URL, HTTP status code, type, www match, and wildcard redirects. Under the Actions column, you can view the redirect code or delete it. And that's how easy it is to set up redirects for domains and subdomains in CWP. For more information, please consult the CWP User Guide at the following link. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks very much for watching.